administration has announced new federal rules for fracking. It's a process by which water, sand and chemicals are injected underground to release oil or gas trapped inside. The regulations will govern the chemicals used and the disposal of waste, but it will only apply on federal government and Native American lands and not on private property where most fracking occurs. Environmentalists complain the rules are too weak, but oil companies say the regulations are not needed and they will drive up fuel costs. We begin with this report from CCTV's Steve Handelsman. Fracking has dramatically increased oil and gas production in the U.S., driving down prices and helping the economy. But new rules are needed, says Obama Interior Secretary Sally Jewell. It's pretty simple. If we don't have the right measures in place to protect the communities we live in, the air we breathe, and the water we drink, we all lose. Pumping high-pressure water and chemicals deep into solid rock till the rock fractures and frees the oil and gas can pollute groundwater and some charge even cause earthquakes. The first ever federal fracking rules would apply only on federal and Indian lands, requiring reinforced boreholes, better leak prevention, and disclosure of the chemicals pumped underground using this website, frackfocus.org. Oil companies say no need for new rules. We use uh, three, about three million pounds of steel and cement in each well to make sure the groundwater is protected. We have over a million applications of this that have occurred thus far with no documented cases of groundwater being impacted. Many environmentalists are slamming the new Obama administration regs. They wanted a ban. Fracking is inherently risky, and so we don't believe that these regulations, which are, you know, essentially partial measures, will make fracking safe for public health and the environment. But groundwater will now be safer, says the Interior Department. The Obama administration wants states to adopt these tougher new rules and to apply them on private land, where about three-quarters of all U.S. fracking is done. From Washington, Steve Handelsman reporting for CCTV.